All around us, web-enabled devices are turning our world into a more switched on and connected place. And this is happening at a staggering pace. So the question is, how do you manage these devices? And that's where narrowband IoT comes in. This is a new technology that allows you to manage this IoT network in a really energy efficient, safe, secure manner to make sure you're getting the best out of your network. And we call this NB IoT. All of a sudden we're seeing customers who've never had devices connecting to the internet able to have devices connected. So it's a new market, new industry, new solutions, which are pretty exciting. And the reason why that they can start connecting to the internet is because of the coverage NBIoT gives to customers is really wide and also very deep. What we're finding within the water industry, particularly how they're using narrowband, is obviously for fixed assets and their infrastructure. So the fixed assets for them would be our water meters, which are located in a lot of our homes or in front of our premises. So they're monitoring that not just from a billing perspective, but also for leaks, as well as their infrastructure. So the infrastructure have a lot of assets there that are unmonitored. So they want to know about the flow, about the pressure, temperature, and also sometimes the, um, the quality of what is actually going through the pipes. Flood as well has become really important here in Australia. So that is becoming a really important area that they can then have a lot of sensors out in their network, which is giving them a huge amount of insight, a huge amount of data that they can start using and start managing their natural resource, which is water, which is such an important thing here in Australia for us. I believe we're at a revolution in the water industry. For the first time ever, can we actually cost effectively monitor the majority of our assets, which are the pipes in the ground, and a technology like MBRT and then the backend platforms with impact allow a hitherto just unheard of capability to create visibility and collect data in a far richer format than we've ever had before. So we have a smart water meter that sends daily usage data back, ideally every half an hour, like we do with MBIT. We can readily understand not only when there is untoward water use, whether that's at an individual household or at a business, but we can also pinpoint where it is and with that help the end user to very quickly take corrective action and with that not only save precious water, but obviously save money too. And smart metering with MBIT and the platforms and the network connectivity provided have 100% a positive business outcome for both businesses and individual users. The impact of IoT has been tremendous in the recent years. If you look at the any industry, and it could be the number of examples we are coming across. It could be in the manufacturing, transportation, it could be in the energy, it could be uh, the utilities, it could be in the consumer electronics or financial institutions and any other industries. All the industries are getting enabled using this IoT applications and adoptions. So from the service provider standpoint, this becomes really, really important areas of business for their enterprise customers to tap on this market. So the exciting things that we're seeing in the market that we've never seen before is connected water meters, um, beer keg tracking, which is a really interesting, unusual solution, fridge monitoring, um, anything really that needs tiny amounts of data with lots of sensors out in the market we're seeing coming out to market now. Uh, Nokia's impact platform has been deployed globally across the world in Australia, so we have uh, two other major customers and uh, we are so excited in looking at how the expansion of this IoT is happening and um, how we are going to expand from there. As soon as we partnered with Nokia, immediately we were able to do the interoperability of our customers' devices, which was fantastic. Within three months, we had hosted the, um, the platform within our own data centre, and within six months, we'd migrated all of our customers' devices across to the production version of the platform. So the speed, the effectiveness, and the knowledge that came working with the Nokia team on the IoT Impact platform was fantastic.